Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I'm an American that lives here in the UK. Today I've got to go out and go to the grocery store. Actually, I'm sitting in the parking lot. Had my camera with me, so thought I'd show you guys what inside of a British grocery store looks like. So looking at the bread section, it looks like that the selection of bread is the same as the steaks. Yes guys, it's just bread. Okay, so one of the things is they have like this Milky Bar mousse, and I think a mousse is like a pudding, like you know how you get like the vanilla and chocolate pudding cups? Looking at it, that's what this looks like, because you can like tear it off into individually, but yeah. So here's more of like the yogurts. One thing is, is this is Hellman's. So for all my Southerners that eat Dukes, none of that here. But this. It's mayonnaise. Nando's is something we do not have stateside. And it's mayonnaise. I know. I want to take it home and try it. Same. Yum. Our A1 is their HP sauce. So we would use A1 like on our steaks. But they use HP sauce. It's like called like brown sauce. Yeah, and then some of these are different. This is the same though. Like our mustard's the same. Oh uh, yeah. Next up is these pancakes. So here in the UK, they kind of look like this. Is it made for crepes or crepes? Yeah, it kind of reminds me for crepes. Whatever they're called. Uh, a little bit different than what we do with them in America. But then also beside it, they just have like breakfast. Yeah, ones. fluffy pancakes. Apple pies too, or puddings. Yeah, so they call these puddings. Are they like desserts? Because here's a rice pudding and then here's like a raspberry pudding. Well, we have like rice pudding in yeah. the States, but not usually like all of these puddings. That looks good. Guys, next up, so this is what jelly looks like here in the UK. Definitely something different than what Americans call jelly. All right, guys, so next up is pot noodles. So this will be kind of what Americans like as their Roman mm -hmm. noodles. So it's a big thing over here to have a big selection of pot noodles, which it looks like they're kind of empty now. Hey guys, next is the tea aisle. Tea. More tea. In America, we definitely do not have a tea section like this. Then we're going to go on to what they call biscuits. So these are usually nice to have with your tea. I'm going to go show you my favorite type of biscuit. It's kind of like Americans would call a cookie. But I know somewhere down here, that's a lot of biscuits, guys. There used to be a multi-pack. I'm looking for it. Cannot find the cookies I wanted to show you. It's like a multi-pack. I love them. But these are something else everyone here in the UK um, particularly like. I don't like them, but a lot of people do, and that's fine. Another good thing that they really like um, with their tea is the digestive biscuits. So you can see this is the whole arrangement, even up here. So there's a whole aisle dedicated to tea and biscuits, which is so cute. But just, again, not something we'd have in America that much focus on it. That might be coffee for us in America. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I think there is a little section this little square for coffee lovers. Well, there's cappuccino ones too, and yeah. all lattes. Right, and it's still it's a coffee family. Yeah. But it gets a very small section in the grocery store here. Chip aisle is chip aisle. Just different names. They have walkers, we have lays, about the same. The only difference is here is they have a lot of bags, like for kids' lunches, that have multi packs in it, so it's kind of nice. But. You have those in the States too? Yeah, but you only have usually like the one set and not like all these sets. They have to a lot of sets that have multiples. But anyways guys, it's just the chip aisle. And just like in America, there's a lot of chips. Alright guys, candy section. They do call it sweets here in the UK. Kinder eggs, one of my favorites. I'm going to put one in my cart. Cereal aisle. Guys, they even have Kellogg's. Drink all. They have plenty of soda. Just like America. It does taste a little different, but um, they have different things. They don't have Gatorade here. They That's have more of these. 
a lot of things you see in the UK store is purple because they do have black current here that's different than America but yeah guys the other thing is is they don't do two liters here so it's usually going to be like at this size so half liters 1.5 liters but you're not walking around just seeing two liters in the store this one guys if you watch mine I did try this one this one's more of a Scottish drink yuck Yorkshire pudding all right, guys, instead of potatoes, his jacket's here. Final potato waffles. Final potato waffles. That looks cool. Yeah. All right, guys, and down to the alcohol and wine. Big, big selection. It's not just this aisle. It goes over to the next aisle and the next. But I don't know that that's any different than in America. In America, we have, a big, we have a big selection of the wines and yeah. the, the alcohol. So I'm not going to throw a jab at the UK for having more because we have it in America too. The only difference is this, guys, they have cider. You need to try it if you're here. This Pims, we've been told, is amazing. And we are going to have a bottle and try it. Guys, we love cheese, so of course we're in the cheese selection. And they have a beautiful selection of cheese. Cheese yes, and we're taking that home. We love cheese. Yes. Big section of the pies like chicken and mushroom, minced beef, and this is more of like I would call a pot pie, but they have so many. These shelves are pretty empty, but usually there's just so many different flavors that you can try out. Can I check them out? Go, can I go? Okay guys, so we are back from the store. The one thing I did want to tell you, I didn't want to hold the line up trying to explain it there in the store, is in Sainsbury's you do have to buy your bags in most UK stores or if you're out shopping you do have to pay whether well, it's five pence. I think it's usually the highest it's ever been, right? Five pence for us? Yeah. Yeah, so usually about five pence for a bag. Honestly guys, I usually just keep some of those in my car but I didn't have one this time you just learn to collect them here in the uk so that's different i know america you're used to just having a hundred bags but some people are really good and they bring their own bags in even in america but here you have to pay for them and that's probably honestly just an incentive for you to kind of recycle and keep using the same bag because these are really thick plastic and they'll last you for a long time so i just wanted to give you a quick tour of a store here in the uk sansbury's is um kind of a main grocery store i don't know if it's high end low end i know it's definitely not more like an audi or anything so it's probably more like a harris teeter winn dixie back in america if i had to um kind of compare the two but hope you enjoyed the tour guys and you know like subscribe guys stay tuned to see what i'll do next bye